or to work a muscle over a period of time. Okay? Not muscular endurance. Also, it is um, an activity no? or a, an amount of muscle to work over a period of time. Okay? So, example of muscular endurance are planking, and ups and push-ups. Okay, everybody, did you get me? Okay, now. The next component will be the muscular strength. And muscular strength focuses on the amount of force of a muscle that can do for a certain time of period. Okay? So, when we say muscular strength, from the word itself, strength. Okay? Power and force. It is an exercise that uses force, power, and strength. And the example ability for this muscular strength is bench press, leg press, weightlifting, and any exercises that use power um, for strength. Okay? The fourth component will be the flexibility. And this flexibility is a body part through a full range of motion, meaning from the word itself, stretch or flexible. Any movement that can flex that, that can become that can be uh, become flexible. Okay? If ever you would perform um, stretching that will be under flexibility. Okay? Example example exercises for flexibility is the sit and reach. Shoulder bend or any bending of the the last component will be the body position. And this body position is, um, is a ratio of the body fat to lean body mass. Okay? One of the examples of this body position is the body mass index. And body mass index has four classifications. And these four classifications will determine the structure of a body of a person. Okay? First, first classification is underweight, second classification is normal, third classification is um, overweight, and lastly, obesity. Okay? So these four classifications under body composition of body mass index will determine the level of your body structure. Okay? Now, how to get your, how to determine if your, uh, I mean, how to determine what is your classification? So, you need first to get your height Okay? Understood? Okay, now, what are the benefits of having this kind of components or what is the benefits of health-related fitness? Okay, so one of the major benefits is that it will reduce the risk of any diseases like cardiovascular diseases, cancer, um, um, arthritis or even diabetes or any kinds of diseases, okay? As long as you will perform and engage in any physical activities under this component, and then um, with that exercises, it will boost your immune system, okay? And in short, in overall, it improves your overall health. So that is the benefits of health-related fitness. So, do um, you understand class? Any questions? Okay, what are those five components of health related fitness again? Cardiovascular endurance, muscular endurance, muscular strength, flexibility, and last is the body composition. Okay? Okay. Now, we are going to have an activity, and this activity is the five components of this health fitness and now I will group you in five groups and you for each group is required to choose at least one component and create three exercises that is under of your chosen component and you only leave it five minutes to prepare and then perform it in front. Do you understood? Okay, very good. Now I will leave you the criteria on this activity. So um, there are performance criteria, proper exercise criteria relevant to the function criteria, team teamwork criteria with the scoring of proficient 3%, developing 2% and beginner 1%.
Okay, so timer starts now. Five minutes left. Three minutes left. One minute. Okay, time is up. Okay, group one. Very good. Group two. Wow, very good. Group three. And press up. Group four. Wow, awesome. Very good, group four. And last but that, but that is group five. Wow. Thank you. Very good, group five. Okay. So, based on what you perform, you already understand what are those exercises under your physical component and all those activities are correct. Okay? And now, for the second activity of our lesson, earlier that was a group activity and now this is an individual activity, but all of us here are going to answer in codes. Okay? So on the left side are the daily exercises or the daily or regular exercises and on the right side is the component component now. On the number one, in what component does the push-ups belong? Yes, you can answer. Yes, you said. Push-up is in, is in what component? It's muscular endurance. Very good. You're right. Push-up push -up exercises is under muscular endurance. Correct. Number two, how about jumping rope? You can answer. Yes, Jimmy. Jumping rope is under the component of cardiovascular endurance. Very good, Jimmy. Next, for number three, shoulder bend. Who can answer at the back? Yes? Yes, Joel? Jumping rope is under, uh, shoulder bend is under flexibility. Correct. Flexibility is under, I mean, jumping shoulder bend is under the flexibility component. Very good, Joel. Next, number four, for us. In what component does for us belong? Or under? Yes, um, Ray? Okay, correct play. Very good. Perlux is under the muscular endurance. Okay, very good. Now, for number five, bench press. In what component of physical fitness it is involved or belong? Who wants to answer? Yes, Diki. Muscular strength. Very good, Diki. Bench press is under the muscular strength. And last but not the least, number six, running. What do you think? Which part? of component it is involved. Yes, hands. Cardiovascular endurance, very good. Okay, everybody, all your answers are correct. Give yourself a big clap. Okay, nice. So, now, for our last activity for today, I want you to answer the four questions. You just need to complete the statement. Okay, this is based on your understanding from our lesson just now. I need you to complete the following sentence. Okay? And then you will be given at least 10 minutes to answer the four questions. Okay? Then you can start now. Okay, five minutes left. One minute left. Okay, time's up. Okay, please pass your papers. Thank you. Okay, all right. So thank you everybody. Um, and before I dismiss the class, um, we will have first an assignment, an advanced um, assignment. Okay, an advanced research for the next topic. So I need you to read in advance the topic in IPT principles and analyze how to create your own activity plan. Again, I need you to read in advance the topic in IPT principles and analyze how to create your own activity plan. Okay? Okay, that's good. Thank you everybody and have a great day. Goodbye.